How about those pickled vegetables, everyone? I hope everyone's doing well. Chris Sawyer here, sawyersom.com. I am at Gravenstein Grill, a great restaurant in Sebastopol. Not open, go figure. Uh, there's been some interesting months that we've been going through together. And uh, today, to kind of start off our, our uh, series here of some interesting videos, I thought it'd be great to have a person that doesn't work for us, but that loves to come to our restaurant and hang out when she's not working slash chefing, Jody, the superstar chef. Um, and Jody lives in uh, none other than Bodega Bay. So from here in Sebastopol, it's right out that way, that way being towards Occidental, and then you finally get to Bodega Bay. Um, not the town of Bodega, that's a little bit different. Um, that's where The Birds was filmed, if you guys saw that movie. Good one to go back to, actually. It's really actually scary. Um, but I thought we'd kind of find out from Jody what she's up to because this is a hard time for everyone. But chefs, think about this. They're so used to serving us and, and, and being out here. You know, Chef Bob, I'll be featuring him tons of times here. But I thought this would be fun to get a perspective from Jody, who really does so much stuff with wineries. She is like the superstar winery chef. She goes to so many wineries, works with so many people, but damn, she's alone right now. So I thought I'd uh, juice her up with some really fun wines we'll talk about, and also kind of find out what she's up to. Jody, welcome. Thank welcome. you. Uh, we did take off our mask just to, and our uh, distance away from each other, so we do not breathe on each other, but we uh, also steam up our glasses if we have our masks on, so we look really weird. I try to keep six feet away from them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, thanks once again for being with us. Um, you know, Jody, tell us a little bit about what's happening with you. You're tasting this fine wine, too. Let's talk about this. Abacella, this is a 2019 Albarano. If you don't know Abacella, an amazing winery from right there in Southern Oregon. One of my favorite, favorite wineries, abacella.com, check them out. Um, obviously, Albarino has become something big and there's no better time to get into Albarino than right now when springtime is hitting. Um, it's a great time for that. There's tons of vegetables out there. What the heck do we do with them, Jody? This right now, well, I feel like because I live in Bodega Bay, this will go that, with- Speak, speak up. Oh, speak up. Um, I feel like since we're drinking this here on the coast, we need to make some seafood with it. Because seafood? Because it's like the perfect complement for any type of seafood. Or um, Right now it's spring, any local vegetables, grilled vegetables. Um, it, I'm like a big fan of Spanish style wines and yeah. Rioja and stuff like that. And these are some of my preferred type of wines. Yeah. And it brings me back to Spain and I'm like really enjoying this because it's really hot and it's really good. It's hot. Today it's yeah. about uh, 80, about 85 degrees here in Sebastopol. It's pretty hot for spring, uh, to be really honest. Uh, we went through a very hot streak, big hot streak this last weekend, uh, but we've been, you know, trying to make it by. Um, this is a great wine, though, just because this is the style of today. As Jody just said, we have so many types of appetizers and starting courses now. They're made with fresh food. Remember the old days when it wasn't fresh. Um, that especially during this kind of season as we get into the spring greens and all these kinds of salads and, and even chilled soups. I, I love, I'm a big fan of a split pea soup, uh, especially when it's chilled. I just love that uh, flavor. And Albarino comes from the coastal region of the Rias Baixas in, in Spain. Um, so it's just above the part of Portugal that really hits Spain right there along the Atlantic. So it's very well known for really pairing with seafood. So Bodega Bay, go figure. Uh, the coast here, very good things. Uh, you know, with here I would be doing with with a scallop dish and like kind of a light scallop dish would be really nice. Salmon uh, season starts May first. What does salmon season? Salmon season starts May first. I think it's May first. Hopefully. Know. But it's in that over or third between. It'll be soon. Yeah. Same as season soon. So besides pickling these great vegetables, what what else have you been doing? So actually, those vegetables are pickled because there's a lot of excess sometimes from food bank ingredients. Okay. So I try not to let the ingredients go to waste. Okay. So I pickle them and I give them back to people who volunteer, or um, you know, just to make sure that the excess food that comes into doesn't just go into the garbage when it's finished. So right. I'm trying to do the best I can with repurposing anything that's left over. Yeah. 
and I've been volunteering at the Diggity Range at um, the Food Bank. They have Waves of Compassion, which is really beautiful, and we've been um, supplying food for the local community, which is mostly 90% hospitality, yeah. so everybody's out of work, so... Um, that way. Oh, Those way. guys. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm talking okay. to your bottle. Yeah. Um, well, we have to look at you because these cars going by are very noisy too. So um, So anyway, um, we supply food for the local coastal community, which feeds over 130 families or more from the Redwood Empire Food Bank, which is great. Um, and then I've been trying to just Bust out some food from my house. I don't know if that's. You've been making there. some fried chicken, yeah, haven't you? I've been, I've been yeah. hearing a little bit about your fried chicken you've yeah. been selling. It's been a lot of. Uh, if uh, you've had my fried chicken before, it's pretty good. So I've been selling it kind of like on a PL. So you don't know where I live. So yeah. It's no big deal. <laughs> yeah. She's coastal. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Um, but anyway, the, uh, like volunteering and, and just hoping unemployment will sustain me because it's really expensive. Good in Sonoma County, and I'm just like chomping at the bit to like volunteer places more when I have a time. Yeah. Yeah, there's also another problem that uh, she's been seeing out on the coast, and that's just everyone wants to go to the coast um, in the weekends and when it's hot. So you've had some problems out there in the coastal areas, haven't you? Yes, everybody wants to be um, during the shelter at home. It's a little difficult because. You know, we only have so many stores, and we only have so many gas stations, which is one. And it's nice that people want to enjoy the coast right now, but, like, you have to feel, for us, try to support our own community and supporting people. We understand you want to come to the coast, but, like, just during the fires, we supported everybody. And during the power outages, we supported everybody. And it's like everybody comes to the coast for Xavier. And I don't think enough people, like, support the coast. Yeah. You know, I think it's, um, I think that people look to see if how we live our lives and try to be, especially in hospitality, to serve you, you know, you to us for everything. It's, it's, sometimes it's nice to get back without coming to the coast by buying local visit tickets to local stores and whatnot. Yeah. Well, um, this is tasting really good right now. Once again, that's the Abacella 2019 Albareño, and you can look them up at uh, abacella.com. Um, I love the tartness to it. Um, I love that peach note with some lime squeezed on it. It's just fantastic. It's high, high tone kind of acidity. Um, makes me want oysters too. So that's a different subject uh, that we need to explore. Um, you know, of course, Marshall and the areas out here are so Bodega great. Bay Oyster Company. Yeah, Bodega Bay Oyster Company. Give them a good plug. Yeah. But going coastal in this little segment here. Now we've come from Umpqua Valley, which is obviously inland in southern Oregon and please visit these guys if you can this is an amazing area these guys and two hawk wines which I love up there too there's two that really stand out to me uh, really great but this one is one that you brought me to taste and I like this Ellen not Ellen DeGeneres even though you want to think that uh, for Ellen um, San Rafael California this is actually um, a, a Petaluma Gap wine that's from the Stub Vineyard 2017 Pinot Noir. Uh, Patrick McNeil, this is him. He's a great uh, wine sales guy. Wines uh, that deliver. Wines that deliver. Wines that deliver. This is a production of 60 cases, so just barely, um, you know, over uh, two barrels worth. So really nice. Uh, let's let's try this out for sure. Those plants oh, like me. <laughs> kind of funny. That is a. That is a wine. Sorry, Owen. That is a, a, a great plant right behind us, so it's going to love that. And it's real. Okay. So, uh, 2017 vintage uh, from Marin. It's a Marin County designate, but it could technically be called Petaluma Gap because the Petaluma Gap does go over the border of Sonoma County into um, into Marin County. It's actually the one of of two other ones that do that here in Sonoma County too. Do you know what those are? If I was doing a trivia contest. The other ones were both started in uh, 1983, and they're part of my book, but that would be Carneros, which was the first ever in the United States to cross county borders uh, between Sonoma and Napa County, and the bigger one, which was also 1983, which is North Coast. That means that Sonoma County, Marin County, Napa Valley, 
uh, uh, Clear Lake and, and Lake County up there and Mendocino County are all in that big Appalachian. So pretty interesting. So this is um, a kind of more of a, a tribute. Uh, this is a loving ode to his grandparents. Um, so this is really cute. Uh, Ellen Redding to you, darling. Um, really nice fruit nose on that. Um, nice, nice uh, kind of plummy uh, cherry notes. And, you know, it's got that great atmospheric thing, which is definitely the Petaluma Gap. That is warm during the day, but then when that wind comes in, those, the day's over. So it's got high acid, and it's really it's nice. Really nice. It's tasting really good. We've had it open for a little while. She tasted me on it before we went on, but I, I think it's tasting extremely good right now. Yeah, it's good. What, what's, um, what's some of the new stuff that you're working on uh, besides chicken and making me um, and others uh, some of these um, amazing um, pickled things? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I have to wait to see what happens. Um, I feel... No, boy. Hang on, hang on. The motorcycles are coming. They've probably been out on the coast. We um, starting a project possibly with um, the people at Twisted Corn Ranch. Okay. And we are starting to rebuild um, a kitchen there in Bloomfield. Oh, in Bloomfield. It's a commercial kitchen. Wow. So people can come in and make local products and um, or do catering or, or bust out some food and do some fried chicken out the door. Yeah. Um, um, it's um, right next to Stormy's. So yeah. It's, little... <laughs> you guys have ever been to the... it's, it's kind of one of those little areas. If you go out Bodega Bay, uh, you know, to Bodega Bay, out Bodega Road from Petaluma, where I live. And we're not suggesting you do this right now. Please don't. No, no, no. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, there's a little town called Bloomfield, and all you do is you get one little sign that says Bloomfield that way. So if you're daring enough to do it, do it. It's pretty fun. And there is a little uh, restaurant there called Stormy's, and it is good. A good cocktail, believe me. Um, I haven't been there in a long time and I've been meaning to get back and of course right when I do have time of course it's uh, closed like everywhere else like Ravenstein Grill is um, so uh, I love that place and that's a, that's a good project there's also you know out in uh, Valley Ford you have um, some some really good little restaurants out there too and um, just it's a really unique area so what we're trying to do is make sure that you guys when we do get reopened you'll all be coming to visit us and of course, you'll be going to a lot of wineries that will feature uh, Chef Jody, of course, and um, have some fun with that. So I like this wine, by the way. Yeah, I think this it's fantastic. Really it's good. like it's perfect for the weather too. Yeah, it's Very, really actually. I'm like, it's really good. Yeah. So, <laughs> I was like, wow. like, so you can find a little bit more information about this at ellenredding.com. Or wines that deliver. Or wines that deliver, but it does have ellenredding.com okay. um, on the back. I feel like I should listen to a. A Redding album. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Helen Redding? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or you can go up to Redding, California, which is really interesting, too. Uh, right after you get um, off the road in uh, Chico, of course. What's the little town up there that has all the olives? Um, there's a where the olive sign starts. I don't have enough time to leave Sonoma County usually because I'm usually busy. So. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know there was anything other than. Yeah. Or Napa. I know <laughs> yeah. there's Napa. I've been there. <laughs> yeah, so, I miss being, I miss going to places. One thing that I, I really <laughs> have loved that you've told me too, Jody, is that uh, <coughs> it's just a fun thing that some winemakers that in wineries that really know her and respect her as a great chef are contributing to her cause by providing her with wine. We had a, a really good one, the Crux wines that stopped by today. Uh, just as she pulled up, uh, he dropped off some wines for her. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. You're the man. And uh, you know that's one where I'd like to get them on the on the um, on the show as well and have some fun with them. But you know, I think that this is something where life. where sharing is really important. In, in that month. Oh. In that month. Oh yeah. David. And also um, the new project that um, that's right. Uh, which Donald Patz has started, the Mar Maritana, yes. um, the Maritana Project uh, Vineyards, Maritana Vineyards, uh, they have donated some uh, amazing wines to her cause as well. So we have to keep these chefs alive 
And that's a really important thing. You're Not to cost my drinking yeah. problem, but yeah. cost to promote. Well, I feel like it's important to drink people's wines at a local so I can suggest them to other people because once you learn to taste these wines, you know what they taste like with food. And when you get to know the winemakers and the winery owners, yep. you have you build up that relationship of trust. And like I feel like I, the best thing for my career was visiting every possible winery yep. I could. In the past three years, I've been more wineries than most chefs do. Yep. Like I'm like religious about giving back to the wineries to like I buy their products and I you know I feature them you know yep. on Instagram and whatnot and it's really. She's a fun one on Instagram. What's your Instagram again? At Chef Jen Boone. There you go. A lot of dog pictures. A lot of dog pictures. <laughs> a lot of dog pictures. So the last wine that we're going to taste here, uh, you can dump into here. Um, the last wine that we're going to taste is um, the Golden Eye. That's this really is uh, the Narrows Vineyard. This is the 2017 Anderson Valley. I got to say one thing about Anderson Valley. Um, well, I could talk for hours about Anderson Valley. It is one of my favorite places on the planet. Um, such a secluded area, yet we all go there because there's little magical things that happen in Anderson Valley. It's on your way out to the coastal region of uh, Mendocino County, so that's why I wanted to stick it next to this Marin one and uh, kind of uh, show this style. But this is, uh, it, as you, you drive there from here, if we were to go up uh, Highway 101, we'd be going all the way to Cloverdale. We'd be going to Cloverdale, and then we'd take this crazy road 128, which goes way up there. Yeah. It's complicated. Yeah, I know. Um, here comes another big truck. Um, you have to drive this really crazy, windy, windy road. You about halfway through, you're like, "Oh, why are we doing this again?" And then you get to Boone, to to Boonville, and it just opens up, and you said, "We're here. Don't worry about it." And that's a great thing. So this part, uh, the Narrows, is really the part as you keep driving through the about 14 miles where you go from uh, Boonville all the way just past um, Philo and you're kind of heading out there towards the real redwoody forest part. And so this is a really special vineyard, very, very cool climate. It's uh, their most, most um, northwestern part of that area. So very, very high density there. Um, yeah, it's wet. I do not know the alcohol front there. It's probably on the front, uh, but it is intense. This is one that I would be doing lamb with. What about you? What are you thinking? Me for this? This is more meaty. Yeah, it's this, meaty. This is it's like, meaty. This is, it's amazing how different two things can be. Yeah. It's like a different opposite of the spectrum. It's yeah. like, you can tell one's from the meaty. Yeah. Even though they're both next to the, near the ocean, I'd say both of these vineyards are probably about five miles from the ocean at max, um, probably less than that. But this one is very soft and uh, doing a starting course here or a really nice like chicken course, pork course with this. Um, whereas this one, we'd be going red meats or gamey, maybe even some Liberty Duck um, would be really nice with that too. Something with some fat in it. Yeah, I it definitely needs the fat. So. Oh, look. You know, squirrel. squirrel, but that's not me with my yeah. mental thing. It's like a real squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there's a, uh, then, then there's Benji, the dog walking by too. Um, I just think it's yeah. <laughs> so. Um, these are kind of the exploration tour. I just thought it'd be fun to have Jody here because she does live Thank on you. the coast. Taste her on a couple coastal Pinot Noirs. She brought one. I brought one. Um, and just talk about how we're getting along. I think it's great for you guys to know what a chef does at this point, too. Um, there are some great ones out there. Chris Cosentino, please check out his show that he's been doing on Instagram, too. Amazing guy. Really interesting. He's really teaching you how to cut up a whole entire lamb. And that's cool. I appreciate that, Chris. But for eat Jody, local. Yeah, eat local. Support your local um, restaurants, please. We, we are not open. So don't worry about us right now, but we will hopefully be open as we were talking about. Uh, probably if we can open the doors for takeout in uh, late uh, May, we will do that. Um, after the whole thing ends here, or at least people can go out in public and be in places. Luckily we have a big, um, uh, you know, we're, we, our restaurant is big. We can set people way apart from each other and still have a lot here. So. I hope to get some big events going again in the summertime. We missed our our um, amazing rosé rendezvous um, one, but 
We hope to get the Pinot Paradise here um, going in June. So I will keep you guys posted, but I just wanted to present the great Chef Jody to you and uh, find out what she's doing out there in the coast. You'll be here. Um, I've got more great guests coming, and we'll be talking a lot from here and going through wines through the weeks as uh, my distributors come through, taste me on some wines. We can really get a taste of, uh, with them too, and that's uh, really interesting to get to know Drink local. people. Drink local. This one you can find GoldenEye Wines. Uh, what? Sorry, GoldenEyeWinery.com, and uh, that one is a it's a magnificent one. I, I think that you know uh, GoldenEye is owned by uh, Duckhorn, so if you guys know Duckhorn Wines, I had a beautiful tasting experience yes. there. They soup to nuts. It was fantastic. Amazing winery, and uh, to think about what Duckhorn has done, they are great uh, contributors to Sonoma County, Napa Valley, and Mendocino County as well. And the well. wines are good. The wines are great. <laughs> so thanks for being here. Appreciate it. And cheers.